Hey, very friends, Matrian here. We're hopping into a match against Andy Bakinickel, a uh, frequent, uh, frequent community member on Discord. I'm joined by my Nico here. Not quite a Bakinickel. We are bringing our very greedy blue red beast bargain deck. We got two things going on. We're going to try to, uh, we got a lot of expensive cards here. We're going to try to get some uh, beast trainer value. Um, and we're running Aurora's creation in the hope that we can get a discounted Radiant Scourge of Oversky and uh, shut down our opponent for multiple turns. I haven't played that legendary card yet, but we are going to build to the same side, drop our Herald, and pass the turn. We're running red for, uh, let's see, Garadan, we've got Ogre Battler, and Gemshell Tortoise. Um, otherwise, we have a lot of wild... Uh, we've got a number of wild legendaries we're playing. Lia's smart call from our opponent. Looks like he's going for a rainbow deck. Any props for that? Alright, we got some good ramp here. I think... Yeah, let's just do this. Why not? Get our ramp going. And uh, hopefully we can take out that Laia before we drop Shozen. I wonder what happened when Shozen a creature. Okay, so if we turn Laia into a Shimmering Statue, it's not going to do anything when Shozen destroys it in combat. Roar's Creation we don't want to use on anything just yet. I want to save it for Radiance or some other uh, powerful legendary. Depending on where our opponent goes, I don't know. Know if he's going to build over this. Okay, so yeah, he's going to challenge the same side as us. That's fine. Skyward Swordfish is a great pickup ramp because we can't. And Magda cool, over there. All right, all right. <laughs> cool. So he's going for a full wild route. I think he's going to be running Gagana. Uh, that'll be some fun antics for him. We're gonna drop our commander back there. Uh, ping. Ping here. Do we knock it out? Do we? Yeah, let's knock it out. And then we'll drop our mochi there. I wonder if it mattered if I dropped my mochi, mochi uh, aggressively or not. I don't know. Hopefully we can draw something with 7 cost so we can shimmy our dude here. Because what? Oh, yeah. He's got aquatic charge 3. So fine. He can go over and double collection next turn. Alternatively, we could get him up there so that he can take out Magda. Because that those shenanigans are going to start happening soon. Alright, so he's probably got... There, here comes Ulani. All right, happy to see her draw a green. How many? Four. All right, full-on wild combo from Andy Bakaneko. I want to see this deck. I want to see this deck, Andy. All right, let's see what's up. We can double collect next turn. Take out Laya. I don't want Laya messing with our Shosen. Um, and then I think we drop Shosen right here, so we can take out Ulani. Oh, no, he's going to take out the Shimmering Statue, actually. Yeah, let's go over here. I'll ignore Magnet for now, uh, just because I value the... It's got Lia, Link, and Sorrows. And I'm going to drop... Well, you know what? Let's hold off on Chosen right now. Okay? Hello. 
hold off on Chosen, but we are going to land block and come back. Yeah, not in a rush with Chosen. Uh, I think an Ancient Beast Mas or Ancient Her <coughs> Ancient Herald is going to be. Um, we're, we're playing the long game here. I mean, Andy is too. He's got a ton of cards in hand. Three, six, nine. He's, he's got to play some this turn, but he doesn't quite have the lands for much. Hopefully, next turn two we can get we can draw a seven cost base uh, card, so we can get this up to five three. If he decides to move over this direction. We are at our land requirement, so you know what I could have, you know what I probably should have done, instead of placing this mountain here. Oh no, we need the mountain if we get the gem shell toward us. Man, oh man, I don't care about the production ability. The taunt is uh, difficult, but I do want to keep him boxed in. Uh, if I can, so we're going to drop Chosen definitely uh, right up here by Ulani. And it would be quite sad, I'd be quite sad if I were the one consuming Ulani. With, uh... Oh. This could be spicy. All right, I'm gonna swing in here first. Where do you want our Chosen going? Probably Chosen right there and Gemsaw right there. Oh, we don't have enough though, do we? We don't quite have enough. Well, we could. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. See what we get. Beast Trainer, Beast Trainer. Chosen's not a beast. Other beast in hand, so let's drop Chosen here. Alright. See what we got. Uh, if he doesn't come with anything strong this turn, I think we've really got it. We can take out, we can switch our Gabriel Commander to take out his Magda. Um, swing here, swing here. Chosen up here under this forest to take out Ulani. I'm not going face just yet. And then we've got Beast Trainer for when we draw. Um, any other beasts we might be running? I don't know if Beast Trainer is really appropriate for this deck, to be honest. And I gotta say, I'm not a fan of the artwork at all. I really like the original uh, one from the Fairy Friday banner. This one just, it really uh, kind of disturbs me. I don't really like that. Um, they're dragging that poor bear away. Um, not a fan. So you just swallowed our shows and yell. Uh, that's not cool. <laughs> I think... I think I might Aurora's creation on our uh, gem shell. Honestly. Oh no, you know what? Here's our plan. I think he's realizing it too. Is he gonna bring in a taunt there? I kinda wanna remove Chosen um, right now. And leave his Magda alone. So we gotta do this, right? Gotta do that. Can Chosen attack this turn? Where's my Chosen? Well, what? How did he... What just happened? I... am very confused. Alright, Chosen... Chosen should have been able to attack that turn, right? That's bizarre. Alright. Andy thinks it's a mistake. I wonder what kind of mischief he has planned for us. Uh, if I should have taken out that Magna instead. We got a humbling vision if he has any crazy threats. Ooh, Garadan. 
Oof. That is brutal. Swallow and gain control of it. So what do we do here? What do we do? Humbling Vision 3-3. Three, three. First time chosen would kill a creature in combat. Instead, swallow and gain control of it. All right, let's let's Beastmaster first, or let's Tortoise first, okay? That's pretty sweet. Um, we're gonna try something out. See how we do here. Wait, so. First time chosen would kill a creature in combat. Instead, swallowing in control of it. Uh, I don't want to test it on the Garadan. I don't think it's going to work. Let's take out his Magda instead. So I gained control of it. Do I have any beasts in here? No, I'm going to save up for our own Garadon next time. And we're going to... Oh, gosh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I don't know if I should have done that. Man, I really I was really too nervous to hit Chosen into that Garadan. But I'm excited we can play our own Garadan next turn. Um Yeah. Right? So we got four, five, six, seven, eight if we collect down here. And then we can play Garadan up here. And just have some fun. Alternatively, will we have enough to Gem Soul Tortoise again? Alright, alright. So we do not have enough for... Not enough for... Well, let's, let's think about this. Do we? Do Sakasa a random beast in your hand by... Okay, so it would reduce this, so we three, and we have two. Yeah, we can play gem shell again. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right? Okay, that's good. And then we can plus one. Why don't we go face? We're going to play this first. Yep. Play right there. See what we got. Ancient Herald, Ancient Herald, fine. Um, do I want to just go... Let's just go for control. Yeah, we'll see. I really like the deck he's playing. I want to see the deck list and see if we can make it work. Um, for whatever reason, I, we're, we're playing in defensively and uh, not in a rush to hit his face. We want to starve him of a uh, very... The Skyward Swordfish is getting massive value for him. He's not giving up. I respect that. Now what happens to our Magda? Do we have a turn to move it on to land? All right, we're going to move our Magda there to collect. Um, I think shimmy up. Shimmy up. Shimmy up. Can't do Garadon just yet. <laughs> Doom Gate. <laughs> oh, man. Do we 
Rose creation anything? Discuss by five. Yeah, we can Rose creation that, I guess. Yeah, let's go for it. And then we're just going to plus one and pass turn. The gem shell stampede is what's happening here. Let's see what Andy's got with five up to six fairy this turn. We are applying the pressure up in the top right, and we have his Magda. Man, I really wanted to see what happens if we got his uh, Garadan instead. But what would it work if we trade? If it was if we both would have gone down, would that have worked? Can we play Garadan this turn? Four, I don't... If we plus one, four, five, six, yeah, we can play Garadan this turn. So I think it's what we want to do. Why is another great pickup? Uh... Yeah, let's Garadan. We got a plus one though. It's okay. Hmm. Where do we even place Garadan? Right here, I guess. Now let's do this. And then we drop Garadan now. And then we drop Garadan. Because why not? <laughs> Do I want to sacrifice anything? No. All right, there we go. Good game to Andy uh, Bakineko. Um, I want to see his deck list. Um, we got to see some really crazy value from the Jump Shell Tortoise, Tortoise, um, and a lot of our really high cost characters. This is not a deck that I would say is reliable. Uh, for ranked. Maybe there's some tweaks we can make to it. I want to see what Bobbin thinks. But it is fun if you can pull it off. Very controlly, um, which is a stretch for me. I'm not comfortable with control. I'm much more rush, mid range oriented. Um, uh, also, not too familiar with blue, so experimenting with that. Um, hope you enjoyed the match. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm really stumbling through uh, the Resurgence uh, cards. Uh, trying to figure out what works for me, um, what I enjoy playing. Uh, I want to try this deck from Andy, and uh, I hope you're enjoying uh, Resurgence too. Uh, hopefully we can get through this together with the Rakoans and save the Overskies. So until next time, fairy friends, take care, good luck, and have fun.